the personal library is an area which lets you upload documents to your e-portfolio, which you, you can then use um, as, as evidence against, for example, curriculum items or to associate with particular forms that may require documentary evidence. So we select on personal library. And from here then you can then upload PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoints, and so on. Although do try to keep them small because there is only, in the case of foundation, a 100 megabyte limit. So we select an item. We then choose whether we wish to make it shared or private. And then add some kind of description so that it um, makes some sense rather than just the file name. And then click on upload. Be sure not to put anything that is patient identifiable within your ePortfolio. So there's an item that we've uploaded. What you may also prefer to do, and I think it's a good idea, is to add folders to your personal library to have organised things perhaps by year or by specific subjects. And again, by selecting then a newly created folder, then select an item and the document will be uploaded to that specific folder. Of course, don't forget to select whether it should be shared or private. By shared, of course, it means that your supervisor can see it. With private, it means that only you see that particular document. And as you upload items, you will see the uh, counter slowly go down from 100 megabytes. Now you may wish to edit a specific item that you just saved, for example the description or whether it's shared or private and to do that select the item and then on the panel on the right and click the edit button, make any change you need to make and then press update. Now if you want to link an item to something within your ePortfolio such as a, a form or a curriculum item then you need to actually go to the form itself or the curriculum itself you can't do it from the the library to begin with so for example here we're going to link from a form we select the link option and from here we click on link to the file in the personal library choose the file that we're interested in highlight it and then press the button add link see that the link is now listed below the item and that's it